this function is f of t, this graph. g is the integral from 0 to x. g of x is 0 to x of f of t. So if I want to estimate g of 0, well, g of 0 basically means I want the integral, isn't it x 0, from 0 to 0 of f of t dt. Doesn't that basically what it's saying? g of 0 means plug 0 for x. So plug 0 for x. So does it mean basically find the area of f of t from 0 to 0? Which, hopefully you understand, that is pathetically easy. Because what is the area with no interval? It is 0. Next, if I want g of 2, well, we just go to this thing. 0, x is 2, so you go from 0 to 2 of f of t dt. All right, I want to find that area. Well, can't you just go to this graph and find the area from 0 to 2? Now, since it's below the x-axis, isn't it going to be a negative area? Are we good? Isn't that a triangle? The triangle is base, which is 2, times height, which is 4. And then aren't you going to multiply that by 1 half? 1 half base times height? Which that would give us 4. But isn't it negative 4? Because it's below the x-axis, so it's negative. Keep track of those things. You could think of the height as negative 4. Yes, that could help you with that. For some of you, that could help making that a negative 4. Or just realize area below is negative. Okay. G of 8 is simply, going back to the equation, it's going from 0 to 8 of f of t dt. So from 0 to 8, a little bit more complicated. Well, isn't from 0 to 8 basically going to be this triangle? Now, if, this was, if this was 4... Isn't this also negative 4? Aren't they the same? And isn't this a trapezoid or two triangles and a rectangle? Isn't this rectangle 8? Don't those two triangles make a rectangle? If you take this triangle and flip it over. So if, isn't this going to be a 2 and a 2? So I got basically negative 8 for these two. And isn't this 12? So what's my area? Well, it's negative 8 plus 12. It is 4. Positive, because there's more positive area than negative area. Last one, what are we going to do right now? Is B, the largest interval for which G is increasing. Now, I want you to think about something here. G, when you're thinking the word increasing, isn't that when the derivative is positive? So let's simply do something. Let's derive g. Does that mean I'm going to derive this? If I derive this, there is something called the fundamental second fundamental theorem of calculus. Whenever you derive an integral, when you have a number to an x with the f of t or something inside, this answer simply becomes f of x. So the derivative of g is basically, when you do this, it's called a second fundamental theorem of calculator, calculus, not calculator, is f of x. So if I want to find where g prime is positive, isn't that basically where is f of x positive? So can we just look at this graph and say, where is this graph positive? Where Where is g of x greater than 0? Well, it would be on the interval. Oh, sorry, open interval, correct? Doesn't that look like it's from 4 to 8? Wouldn't that be where it's increasing, where your derivatives are positive? 4 to 8. 